They see me rolling. They hating. All right, mom, you ready for a uh, fast foodie review time? Welcome back, fast foodies. While my mom comes and joins me for today's fast foodie review, I guess I'll introduce what we're going to be trying today. We're actually going to be having some. What, buddy? Pop Billy? <laughs> Why are we out of the frame? You always look. Can't you see what they see? <laughs> yes, today we are going to be having some pot bellies. And the reason why is because, well, pot belly just came out with not a new sandwich, but a new cookie. And on the fast foodies, we're all about trying the newest lace of great snacks, ice cream cereals, and fast food items. So that's why, well, I was gonna say I went to pot bellies, but <laughs> my mom actually went to pot bellies and uh, picked up the brand new cinnamon roll cookie. Now, those of you with a sharp eye will see that there is a little bit of uh, red right here, and that is, that's not, that's not blood or anything, it's actually jelly. And the reason why there's jelly on there is because I got another sandwich that's not new, but it's a pretty interesting combination. You're definitely gonna wanna see what I think of it, and it does have jelly, but it also has two other components on it, not just one. So make sure to stick around for some bonus footage to see what I think of the, the sandwich I got. Now, Mom, what sandwich did you get at Pop Bellies? You got like a... Chicken. How was it? got chicken. I didn't have it. You didn't have it yet? <laughs> I did. <laughs> I had a small bite. It was pretty good. Yeah. Yes. Pop Bellies, I find that Pop Bellies usually does come, they're a little bit pricier, but their sandwiches are pretty good. Their shakes are good. And then their cookies usually haven't been too good in the past. I've always been a little bit let down by the cookies. So, and they have soups too. They do have soups, yes. Um, have you had their soups? I don't know. Don't I know. was there once. I don't know if I had sandwich or soup. Mm. Maybe next time we'll... They have mac and cheese also. Mm -hmm. You can try uh, mac and cheese. But if you guys want to see reviews of more new fast food items or anything fun, tasty in general, what should we do, Mom? Hit the button. Go ahead and do that. All right, Mom, you ready to find out if this cinnamon roll cookie is any good or not? Smells good. Mm -hmm. Should be inside. Mmm. Wow. Lemon. Yeah. Okay. Papa must have uh, must have made some changes up in the uh, whoever's in charge of the cookie department because man, this is the first cookie I can remember. That's good. Like a sugar cookie. No, I got I got vibes of cinnamon roll in there. Cinnamon. Yeah, definitely. It's interesting because their dream bar is one of the best desserts I've ever had. <laughs> if you want really want something, go to Pop Bellies, get their dream bar, ask for it warmed up, and then get a, a scoop of like the vanilla ice cream on top because they have vanilla milkshakes. So they have vanilla ice cream. Man, that is mind blowing. But this, this is good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, it's a sweet. No, I like it. Yeah, it definitely tastes like cinnamon. I don't think it's just a sugar cookie. It definitely has hints of uh, cinnamon in there, cinnamon sugar. Wanna give it a rating? Mm -hmm. All right, three, two, one. Eight and a half. Seven and a half. Mm -hmm. There you guys go. Hope you enjoyed this review of the cinnamon roll cookie. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for, Bonus footage! Yes, this is the PB&J, but it's not just any regular old PB&J. No, no, here on the Fast Foodies, we wouldn't review a plain old boring peanut butter and jelly sandwich, would we, Mom? No. No, no. You want to tell them what is also on this PB&J? Bacon. Bacon. This is a pb P, B, B, and J. <laughs> peanut butter, bacon, or peanut butter, jelly, and bacon. P, B, J, and B. P, B, J, and B. Peanut butter, bacon, jelly. No, peanut butter, jelly, and bacon. And if you guys don't believe me, I'll open it up for you. Look, you can see all three components. Where's the bacon? Yeah, mm -hmm. right there. Now, what I think I may do after this review is uh, cut up a little banana on there, too. So we have a P, 
Pe mm. That's that's all the bees. Peanut <laughs> peanut butter, banana, bacon. Oh boy, peanut butter, bacon, banana, and jelly. Oh, and this brings up a good point, Mom. When you make a peanut butter and jelly, do you? How do you spread? How do you assemble it? Do you put any thought into it, or do you do like jelly first, peanut butter first? Just do bread, peanut butter, jelly, bread. So you so you put the jelly on top of the mm -hmm. peanut butter. You don't put it on the other slice? No. And you put the peanut butter first? Yeah. Because I was listening to... I'm going to put this down. I was listening to a podcast. It was actually a fitness podcast. But they're talking about how there was an argument whether you put the peanut butter on first or the jelly on first. Because if you put the peanut butter on first, then, you know, you put the knife into the jelly. But they're saying... I forget what they're saying, but they're having this whole discussion. But you know, I actually had a... Us, your dad. My dad. I actually had a uh, fun story. So I had a music teacher in seventh grade, and he told us this. I'm not sure if it's a hack, but the proper way, or the way that he always did it, was he would put a thick layer of peanut butter on one bread, a very thin layer of peanut butter on the other slice of bread, and then jelly on the layer on the slice of bread with a thin layer of peanut butter. You know why he did that? So he put the jelly on top of the, the slice? Yeah. So he put a thick layer of peanut butter, thin layer also of peanut butter. So the jelly doesn't soak into the bread. Exactly. So the jelly wouldn't soak through and get the bread all mushy. Because you have that very thin layer of peanut butter protecting the bread from the jelly. Mm. So if you guys ever deal or have an issue with soggy sandwiches in your PB&J, just put a thin layer of peanut butter on that slice of bread. All right, let's find out if this PB&J is any good or not. You want a bite of it too? No. Um, you can go for a walk now if you want. Mom's going to go for her walk. <laughs> she just joined for the cookies. But... You know what I find amazing, Mom? Guess what costs more? What sandwich costs more? Mine or yours? The chicken. Mine was $3 more expensive than yours. Oh, that's crazy. That's the bacon. Yeah. Speaking of the bacon, I didn't think it'd come through because there's only two slices, but whatever bacon they use, man, that... It's salty, it's tasty, it is delicious, just what I need. It goes great with the sweetness of the jelly. Although, they do use creamy peanut butter. You guys, and even says on my shirt. Hashtag Team Crunchy. Yeah. I'm not going to rate this because this is bonus footage. But, yeah. Cookie-wise, recommend. See you guys in the next one.